Hey guys, welcome to See or Not to See, as well as D3 Media's Monster Mania. Yeah, I didn't think that one through too well. Anyway, today we're here to talk about Kong Skull Island, the movie that I've been building up to all week. Now, when I first heard that they were making another King Kong movie, I thought it was actually pretty good, because they were doing something that was original with the source material. They weren't remaking the same story over and over again, and I... Honestly, this is kind of the King Kong movie that I've been waiting for. I always wanted to see something that was a little bit more modernized, but doing something different with the source material instead of just making the same movie over and over again. I was even more excited when I found out that this is going to be in a universe connected to the 2014 Godzilla movie. It's nice that they're doing a monster shared universe again. And I know that I get mad that everybody's jumping on the cinematic universe, you know, train now, now that, you know, Marvel has, you know, pioneered that. But people forget, this is not a new thing. Remember when the Universal Monster movies did it? Hell, even the original Godzilla movies did it. You know, they rebooted and made a King Kong vs. Godzilla movie, and all the other monsters that appeared in the Godzilla movie, like Mothra and everything, got their own movies before they appeared in a Godzilla movie. So, cinematic universes aren't anything new. That being said, though, I really enjoyed Kong Skull Island. I thought it was a fun movie. It's not as serious and doesn't, I think, take itself as seriously as the 2014 Godzilla movie, which was kind of disappointing. I wanted a little bit more of that, the kind of serious tone that the first trailer presented. But overall, it's a fun movie. It feels like a nice throwback to those B-movies, you know, from back in the 60s and 70s where you go on the adventure and everything. It feels like it doesn't, it's nice that it doesn't take itself too seriously, honestly. But that being said, though, there are some problems. Some of the tone can actually, you know, clash a little bit. Sometimes it goes too serious, sometimes it goes too funny, sometimes it gets a little bit rushed and, you know, has some pacing issues. Other than that, though, I think it's pretty good. It's not as well laid out, though, as the 2014 Godzilla movie. The only problem I had with that was just that they didn't pace Godzilla's screen time out very well. But I love the fact that this movie gets going right away. Like, within the first 20 minutes, you already see Kong, you're already right there, and it throws you right into the action. And we get some good fights. We get some good monster movie fights that take place during the day, that don't take place at night, so you can see everything. It's, it's really great. I actually really like the characters a lot more than the ones in the 2014 Godzilla movie, with the exception of Bryan Cranston. Everybody is actually really fun. I love John C. Riley. I love Samuel L. Jackson, Tom Hiddleston, and uh, what's her name? Brie Larson. Is that her name? I'll cut that out if it's wrong. I also love the little references that they give to make you feel like this is a bigger universe, but I won't give any of those away here. I also won't get too much into the characters here because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, so we'll save that for the spoiler corner. As for Kong, I really loved him. I think he was really good in this movie. The CGI... It's not that great, but it looks it looks good enough for this movie. We get some great monster action. Kong still feels as likable as ever, and that's one thing that a lot of the King Kong movies do well is that they make him a likable character for just being a giant ass gorilla. Overall, guys, I recommend King Kong if you want a good time. You know, it's really it's fun, you know, to see this kind of movie monster universe and point out the references to other stuff and it's overall just a fun ride. I enjoy. I really enjoyed it. I think that the characters are a lot of fun. I think that the monster action is great. It's nice to see that since Pacific Rim, it seems like we've gotten this resurgence of the giant monster movie genre that I think that has been kind of swept under the rug too much for way too long. And I'm really happy that we're seeing that again. That I, you know, I'm a huge giant monster fan. And if you're a giant monster movie fan. You're going to love this movie. You're going to think that, you know, it's a lot of fun, just like I did. That's why I'll definitely give Kong Skull Island a 2C, because it's a good time. So that's it. All my King Kong reviews are out of the way. We will get to the other King Kong movies later on, you know, down the road. Also, be sure to look out for my spoiler talk for Kong Skull Island. I will be doing one of those. So that's it for me, guys. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.